The only way to get around the lat is with one of these. Dalat is a city in Vietnam's central highlands. It's surrounded by mountains, lakes and pine trees. It's known as the city of the eternal spring for its distinctive temperate climate. And there's a wealth of things to do here. We decided to spend our first day in Dalat exploring the city. And the first stop was the old train station. for the gram. Now, what is the point in having a drone if you don't at least try and use it? So I know here in Vietnam you're supposed to register your drone. Yeah, I didn't bother, but you know, if you're careful with it and you don't use it in really, really crowded places, it should be okay. I think here in Vietnam I'm going to adopt a policy of asking for forgiveness instead of asking for permission when it comes to flying my drone. From the last train station here you can take an old school train 7 kilometers to the village of Tri Mat. It's a little small village with a few markets and a few temples. But before we do that it's getting very hot. So it's time to take off my top. Full on tourist mode tied around my waist. Uh, 11 and 12. Number 11. Yeah. Thank you very much. The seven-story Linh Puoc Bell Tower in Tri Mat is considered to be Vietnam's tallest bell tower. And the bell itself, that weighs eight and a half ton, is considered to be Vietnam's heaviest. So do we have Google Translate? Because I can't read, understand this. But I'm assuming we might a little wish on us. And we stick it on there. Cool. As I said, forgiveness is always better than permission. Drone foot secure, but now we're late for the train. We made it. Just on the way back on the train now, I'm gonna get on the moped and take a spin out to the crazy house. Like is life. The crazy house, believe it or not, is actually a guest house where people can stay. Yeah, so this is actually a hotel. Strange. The house is wonderfully weird and unique and has a great view of the city from the top of the structure. Short lunch break in the wonderful Le Chalet and on to the next trip. After a busy day of sightseeing, we soaked up the beautiful sunset with a paddleboat ride on the lake. Literally last time I was on one of these I was about 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> 